Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Schrantz, and I got another tactical challenge for you. So when you see the position on the screen, go ahead, pause your video, and see if you can solve it. All right, so here's this week's puzzle. In this position, it's black to move, so go ahead and pause your video, see if you can solve it. Uh, I'll give you about five to 10 seconds, but if you need more time, go ahead and pause your video. Okay, so in this position, we notice that, uh, okay, both sides have bishops, but black has this really powerful B pawn, and he's gonna hope to advance it and make a queen. So the first thing you might think of in this position is just pushing the pawn. And you'll need to understand what white's defensive resources is here to understand how white would stop the pawn. For example, the white king is out of the box. So if he just tries to chase down the pawn, he's not gonna make it in time, and black is gonna queen. So going back, uh, so where black just played the move b4, instead, I uh, hope you can, you can see the resource that white has in this position, e4, which allows the white bishop access back to c1. So if you keep pushing bishop c1 and the pawn is stopped, so you're gonna have a, a difficult time winning this. So if we go back and we look at this one more time, uh, if you haven't found it, go ahead and again, pause your video. Uh, but if not, here comes the solution. The way to block the e pawn in this position is with a, a very pretty and attractive move, bishop to e4. So you're, you're blocking the pawn to make sure that you can't play e4 and bring the bishop back. So uh, there's a couple different things that he can try. We'll come back to f takes e4 in just a second. But to go over just a couple other scenarios, for example, uh, again, if we tried to run the king in, well, you're just not gonna be in time. Black is faster and white is unable to stop him from queening. So let's try another tricky defense um, in this position. Bishop to g7. The idea is to play d5, so you're able to go back and get the pawn in time. So go ahead and again, take a, a couple seconds. You can pause if you need to. See if you can figure out what black needs to play in this position. Okay, so. Perhaps the best move in this position is the simple king to f7, and if the bishop drops back, again trying to play d5, king g8, and the bishop is trapped. So that wouldn't work for white. Um, so okay, let's let's look at the, the main move here. f takes e4, and now the pawn is just too fast. So b4, and if d5, this is another trick. We have to make sure we're paying attention to what white's trying to do here. White's trying to play bishop to g7. So again, how would we stop it? You can pause and take a look for yourself. Uh, the same as in the other example, king to f7 simply prevents the bishop from entering the game. Uh, play might continue, e5, b3, ed, ed, and the pawn is unstoppable, so black wins. Thank you for watching another tactical challenge. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Hopefully some of you were able to solve it, so a big congrats to those that were able to get it right. Please hit like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another tactical challenge.